Hey family, what's good? This is your girl, I am the Bronze Goddess, and I'm actually here to do another strawberry letter. And as I always say in my videos, opinions are like belly buttons, everybody has one. But if you ever actually wanted to get paid for your opinion, you may want to check out this new website called OpinionOutpost.com. There are actually companies out there that are willing to pay you to give your opinion on their products, products that are either already out or about to come out. Sometimes they even send you the product for free for you to review and then give your opinion. So if you want to make a little bit of money, that's a great way for you to do so. It's not a get rich quick scheme as you're not going to get rich doing this you know I actually signed up for the website myself to make sure that it was legit before I actually told you guys about it and I made a little bit of money doing it so I thought it was you know something worth mentioning to you guys as well so if you guys are interested I'll be sure and leave a link to opinionoutpost.com in the description box below and without any further ado let's get started with today's strawberry letter and don't be afraid to leave your opinion on this letter as well all right so let's go get them Okay, before I actually read this letter, I have to say this. Uh, I noticed some people misunderstood, you know, the point that I was trying to make when I asked that your strawberry letters be a little bit shorter. The reason why I asked that is because I've been doing this now for a couple of years, and this is like my 78th or something strawberry letter. I always try to read the letter. The reason why that's important uh, is because I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss something that's important to you. I want to make sure that when I'm giving you advice that I'm hitting all the key points. And when I'm actually able to read the the letter even you guys the viewers you're able to point things out that I may have missed you say hey BG in her letter she says this or in her letter she says that and that's why it's important that I actually get to read your letter in its entirety to the viewers the point of doing the strawberry letters is to help you I don't care if that advice comes from me that you want to take or the advice comes in the comment section it's not important where you get the advice from it's that you do get it and that it's good advice and that it's sound and we have all the facts Uh, I've known this guy for over six years. We are not and have never been officially in a relationship, and I've never been officially his girlfriend. We've just been in the talking stages since high school. I am now 24 years old, about to be 25. We started out in the same college, but I ended up having to move to another state to finish my degree three years ago. Woo. Uh, we kept in touch every time I went to visit we would hang out he never came to my campus which was out of state we've had our moments when we also had our arguments and we stopped talking but we'd always patch things up and get back to the talking stages again we're both Christians and we attend the same church and I absolutely love this guy's intellect and his personality I know that we'll be great friends but I think that he would also make a great spouse but I'm not sure if it's for me sometimes our only form of communication is through text messages and sometimes we go days without talking at all this guy goes off over the smallest things that I do and say. I have bought up the idea of being his girlfriend, but he says that I'm not ready and doesn't he says that he's not ready and doesn't think that I'm ready. The last conversation he had, uh, we had about this topic he said he felt I wasn't ready to be in a relationship and that I was too willing to get up and move away to further my career. Side note, one time during an argument he said my standards were unrealistic. What? Anyway, I'm in a rush uh, I am in no rush to get married, but sometimes we hang out so much together, nothing intimate, but it feels like we're actually in a relationship. Now, now I'm going to start to summarize it because it gets long. She said that, you know, last year for Valentine's Day, she was expecting at least a call or a text or something, nothing. She's saying that, you know, sometimes she feels like when she's trying to get into new relationships or start new things with other guys, she still feels almost a little bit guilty like she has a relationship with him. Um, so she wants to know, you know, what should she do in this particular situation? Should she just give up on him and go on like with her life? Um, this is my thing. You don't owe him any, anything. You definitely don't owe him exclusivity. Don't be committed when you're the only one committed in a relationship. This isn't even a relationship. If I were you, I would be dating. You're 24, almost 25. You already sound like you want to be a girlfriend and you already sound like you're looking into, you know, looking down the road about being married and all that other type of stuff. He's not on that same page. And I think that what happens when women in this situation continue with this, he's going to slow you down. Uh, he's going to slow you down. And I don't understand. He doesn't, he hasn't earned the right to make you hold off potential suitors. If you understand what I'm saying, he's not your boyfriend. He's not your ex-boyfriend. He's not somebody who was pursuing you. He's somebody who's actually not pursuing you. May be, you may be turning away the man that God actually has for you messing around with this guy. This guy is a placeholder and he's just holding up the place until you find somebody else. It's time to get him out of the way. I feel like, you know, the biggest mistake that I feel like women, younger women make in situations like this is that you are too eager. 
there's no way that I would keep on bringing up a conversation with a man asking him about being a girlfriend. There is no way. It reeks of thirst to me. There is no way. I, I think that women have lost, some women, some women have lost the art of playing hard to get. Um, because you haven't played hard to get, he may not see you as a challenge, which is me, which may be why he's not calling you at Valentine's Day or not talking to you about being a girlfriend because you, you seem like you're the one who keeps bringing it up. Stop being thirsty. A man loves the, the thrill of the chase. The more that you seem like I'm, I'm good. I'm straight. The more he'll be more into it. Whenever a woman is more into a man, it typically turns him off unless he only wants one thing from that woman. He may actually like you, but it's the fact that you just, you don't seem like much of a challenge to him where he's just not really, he's not really into it. He keeps, you know, talking to you and you guys keep communicating, you keep texting back and forth, but he's not really hungry for a relationship with you, if you understand what I'm trying to say. But you need a man, you need to be with a man who is starving. He, you know, eats, sleeps and breathes, wanting to, you know, make you happy, wanting to show you a good time. You need a man that's into you. He may just not be that into you or he may just be wanting more of a chase from you. And so what I would do is I would become less available. Don't be don't 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 you ever bring up the idea of being a girlfriend again. You've already talked about it once, you talked about it twice. That's it. If I were you, I would never with this guy bring up the idea of being a girlfriend. I would not call him, I would not text him. I would let him chase me. If he doesn't, that's great then you don't need him anyway because you want a man that's actually into you. If he does, he may be, he may finally start to get the feel that, okay, it's not as easy because you're, you're making yourself way too available. T.D. Jake said it best recently. If he can make it without you, you can make it without him. You need to make that apparent to him. It's not your husband. You don't owe it to him to fight for this thing. This isn't even a relationship. You've never even been his girlfriend. So why in the world does he deserve any exclusivity? Why are you running to answer his phone calls? Why are you talking to this man about being his girlfriend not once but twice? Why are you spending time? Why are you waiting for him to call you on Valentine's Day? He's not your Valentine. He doesn't even deserve to be, in my opinion, because a man should want a woman. You shouldn't have to convince him. You should never, ever, ever. I don't. I want you guys to hear me. All my young ladies who watch me, you should never, ever, ever, ever have to convince anyone especially a man, about how awesome you are. Brother, if you don't get it now, you're never going to get it. No, you're never going to get it. You ain't never going to get it. It's To me, it's a waste of time. In any relationship that I'm in, I refuse to ever have to waste my time, my energy, on trying to convince somebody of how awesome I am. Don't do it. You want to be with somebody who wants you, who craves you, who breathes you. You want that kind of man. You don't want some man that's like, you know, you know, you ain't really ready. You know, I, I ain't ready. You ain't ready. You know, you know, you know, that's not the man that you want. Mm -mm. Because that kind of man will use you because he knows that you're desperate. He knows that you're thirsty. He knows that you want to be with him more than he wants to be with you. Don't play yourself. Don't play yourself. If there's opportunities for decent men that are presenting themselves, see what's going on with that. You owe it to yourself. Because you playing around with this guy, you're going to end up, you're going to look at your watch, you're going to be 30 years old, still going back and forth with this guy. You already been talking. How long y'all been talking? Let me go back. Y'all been back and forth for six years. You're going to look around and look up at the clock and it's going to be 30 years. You're going to be 30 years old, never married, no kids, not even his girlfriend. You've already wasted six years. I wouldn't waste another minute on this guy. Not me. Not the bronze goddess. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. If you don't know I'm fabulous, honey, you ain't never going to know. And I'll let somebody else find out. And, you, and I'll be the one that got away. And, and you can stop looking thirsty. Go move on. And if he's meant to be, then he'll come around. But all this bunch of looking available, uh-uh. It's not cute. It's not attractive to look that available. You want to, as a woman, at least in my opinion, you want to look like this. Um, out of all these guys, um, I choose you. Not like, please pick me. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Here, pick me. Stop looking thirsty. You understand what I'm saying? Stop looking thirsty. Stop it. Stop. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, literally with some dudes.